What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be working on something pretty cool. I've been stuck in my house, I've been looking at videos on YouTube and I saw something really cool and it was making their car a push to start. And that's something I always thought would be pretty cool because this, this car is pretty old so it doesn't have that feature. So I figured, why can't I do it myself? So that's exactly what we're doing today. So I already made this button, which I'll show you. Okay, so here's the button we're going to be make functional today. I already made this panel. These switches will uh, do something later in the future, which is a surprise for you guys. But this is what I'm gonna work on today. So I want it to light up red, and I basically just wanna be able to push it and the car start. So I'm gonna pull this panel out of the car and show you guys how it works, and then we're gonna get to right to the wiring. So let's get it. Okay, so the next thing I'm working on after getting that out and working on the switch is I have to take these panels underneath the car. Don't worry, the car is pretty uh, dirty. But I have to work on these. There's just two bolts under here. I'm gonna pull this off. You can already see it's coming off because I never put it back because I knew I was gonna do this. But yeah, that. So there's one layer here. There's another metal piece underneath this. And then there's one um, support piece that we're gonna have to take out too. And then I'll be able to show you guys the ignition switch. So let's get after it. All right, so I got that piece off and now you can see it was the metal piece I'm talking about. And there's just these bolts in here. I think there's like five of them, seven millimeters. So I'm gonna take this off and then we're one step closer to getting the ignition switch, which is underneath here. And then we're good. All right, so I got the metal piece out. It was just four, eight millimeter bolts. So now that exposes here and you can already see ignition switch is I'm just gonna remove this because it's just two extra bolts and it'll get everything out of the way. So we're gonna do that. That's the last piece we have to remove and then we can start digging into that. So let's get it. All right, so we removed that last piece and this is the ignition switch. So we're gonna pull this piece out. There's a bolt, as you can see, right in there that we're gonna be pulling out. And then once we pull it out, I have to take this gray piece off, which I'll show you guys how to do. And then I'll show you which wires that you're gonna need this place into. So I'm gonna get this off. Let's get it. Cut it down, so now I gotta pull this gray piece off, and all you have to do is just pinch these two plastic pieces together, and then it'll pop right off, and then it'll expose the wires, which we are gonna have to connect to the switch panel that goes here. So we're gonna run wire right through, out through here. I'm gonna tuck it up, and make it tuck it up, and make it look uh, all nice right there. So I'm gonna take this gray piece off, and then get right to it. All right. So once you get this pulled out, there are two wires that you're gonna want to worry about. Is this white? And pink one right here, I'll get close so you can see it. And then this gray and yellow one. So you're gonna splice one wire from the push to start into this one, and you're gonna splice the other one into the white and pink one. And because my push to start, I'll show you, has two. So like I said, one of them's going here, and then one of them's going to the gray one, and then this is gonna be my ground. And then I just have to find a bolt under here, which I think I'm just gonna use that one right there. And that's gonna be my ground, because this one lights up. So that's what I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna splice into those two wires. All right, so I put down the camera for a little bit just because some of the wiring got confusing because it turns out that the gray wire has to go to a certain terminal on the push to start as long with the white and red one. So we had to kind of, you know, guess and check and try to see which one worked. And mine uh, push to start also lights up. So we had to get a ground and I'll show you that all right now. All right, so here is the wiring to the push to start button. I lost one of the screws, unfortunately, and this is the one that went to the ground. But yeah, so this one, I believe, is the one, the gray one that goes to the ignition switch, and then this is the white and red one. So we had to kind of keep switching everything around because it was hard to tell which one went where. But um, I basically just got to bolt everything together. And you can look, we ran the wires right under here and out here to the ignition switch. We spliced both of the wires, that's what those blue things are. And now I just basically gotta hook everything up and I'll show you guys the finished result. But overall, I mean, it was 
pretty simple to make your car push to start. But um, unfortunately, the only thing is, is that for you to work, you have to turn the key and then hit the push to start. I'll show you guys. In the future, I, I wanted it to turn one of these on and then uh, hit the push to start, but I cannot figure out how to do that. So now I'm just gonna have to turn the key to turn the electronics on in the car and then hit the push to start. So that's the only downside to it, but it's it's all for show really. So it's, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna button up everything, put everything back together and I'll show you the final result. All right, I got everything put back together, put all these screws back in, I hit all the wires, put all the panels back. So now I'm gonna show you how this works. It's as simple as turn the key on so the electronics come on. It's a manual. So you gotta put the clutch in and then just hit the button. And you get to listen to that beautiful V8 sound, American Muscle. And that's basically it. If you guys could, please leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you think this is cool. Let me know what else you think I should do in my car. And uh, yeah, just leave whatever you wanna say. Please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot. We're about to hit another milestone of 4,000 subscribers. So you guys are going off. So let's keep the good energy. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week.